Hello friends, Marcy here, and I'm sharing, um, this is an, an, like an unboxing without the box from Gold Spot Pens, and um, just want to show the items that I ordered real quick, um, a second coloring uh, to go with, uh, to complete after this one's done, um, and this I'm so excited to find. This is an Inkvent Blue Edition, and it's called Holly. It's a sheening ink in a full bottle. So let's just take a look at, quickly, at this gorgeous bottle. I love the design on this bottle. And the Holly is a sheening ink. There is no shimmer. Um, sorry about the reflection on this glass. I'm taking advantage of uh, the natural sunlight coming through my window. So I don't have any indoor lights on. Um, but we can add this to the swatch book real quick and then share this. Guess what's in the box, yeah. Okay, real quick swatch on a sheening holly. Oh goodness, yeah. And with sheening inks, I like to put down a good amount so that we can see all that gorgeousness where it uh, puddles, pulls, and collects. Ooh, that's just a very beautiful green just on its own. Reminds me of the green marble um, body on my Jinhao uh, 450. It's sometimes so dark it looks black. So, hey, let's let that go. I think I'll just do this and add a little bit of voila. Oh wow, and then when I rinse the brush, it the water looks blue. So I'm anxious to see the chromatography strip on that. Um, can't put it away yet. I, I'm always so cautious that I want to cap my bottles quickly um, as not to have a, a mishap. So this is the Iro Utsushi in the medium steel nib that I'm going to dip and just write Oh, you know what? Look at me. I'm using my new stamps. I prepared the page and I put the stamp of the glass nib. Oh, gotta be careful. Hmm. I'm not gonna wipe that. I'm just gonna let it dry because it'll be all pretty. Um, so it happens when I talk with my hands. So this is a Holly, Diamine Holly, and it is a Sheen ink. Rinse that. And while I've got the ink out, I'll just go ahead and grab a strip. I've pre cut a lot of these because when I purchase them, they're actually like three times this length, and I cut them in thirds. And uh, and able to be able to use them. So I'll put this down, and I do not have clean water. So I'm going to have to run and get some. I'm used to using this as my clean water jar. So I'm going to have to go get some clean, clean water for my strip. I'll be right back. All right, different jar. I'm just going to wet the bottom of my paper. Hold it for a few seconds and let the water travel up. Oh, it's pretty. And I do see that blue. Um, appearing the same blue that's in my jar of water. I didn't dump it out. I want to hang on to it. So I got a different jar um, for clean water for the strip. I want to hang on to that blue a minute. And I can see it um, right here on this right border and creeping along at the top, um, the blue that I found in my rinse water. So give a little bit more time here. Look at me, I'm making a mess all over my paper. That's okay. I don't mind. And I am seeing the sheen. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Um, are you in frame to see this? The red sheen here. I'm gonna hang this up to dry here on my clip. And let's take a peek at the sheen that's happening on the paper. So, so pretty. I need to get the light to capture 
or the ink to capture the, there we go, to capture the light and then on the top. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. So once I ink this in a pen, I'll be recording what pen I use here as I've done in the past. And then yesterday I added my little stamp, pen stamp, or not yesterday, two days ago. I added my little pen ink stamp and wrote um, my new uh, Narwhal Noveler um, Tampa pen that came with the surprise ink that's there. So I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. Oh, did you see the chromatography strip? It's kind of like faint, faded. Not real, not a lot of depth and um, hue there on that paper. I might try another one um, at a later time and see what we get. So anyway, I'm going to let this dry, continue drying. And put every, all this away so we can get to the pen. Yeah. So in that order from Gold Spot was the second set of coloring cards, the instant blue, it says blue edition. Um, my other full bottle that I purchased in July says red edition. And actually this past year, 2022, the green edition was my first experience with the ink vent calendar and it was loads of fun. So I'm looking forward to more. All right, let's get into the sleeves kind of blank, except it says extra fine here, Laban. Um, get into the sleeve and we have Laban.com. Oh, that must have been the bottom. Here we go. Uh, Laban, refill your soul by writing and that's foiled on the top of the box. And this looks like some nib ends and a design just on the front of the box and the Laban L logo. All right, so this is a drawer. The box does not pop open. Oh, what's this? This is cool. It's Laban. It's a bookmark, a page um, bookmark. Let's try it here. Slip it on and see what happens. All right, nice. It has the nib shape cut out there. I like that. But it's, it's um, I would like it better if it was metal. It's just cardboard. Um, so it won't last long if in heavy use. I do have a metal um, fountain pen nib uh, paper clip from Birmingham Pens. I thought it was there in my tray. So it's in a book somewhere. All right, and this orange and orange match here. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, the book just includes international guarantee and date of purchase, some warranty information. All right, let's put the box away and get to the gorgeousness of this pen. This Laban is um, purple and it's called Wisteria Purple. Um, it's accented on the cap and the end of the body by ivory. It's not real ivory, it's imitation, but it's gorgeous because it's streaked with some other shades and tints tints which makes it look gorgeous love it all right and on this ring band if the light reflection is not too much it does say Laban in print and it's just blank on the back gold clip lots of gold rings here this one small one and a small or slender one here two slim rings at the top and again that L Laban logo and some laurel leaves it looks like laurel leaves on the side um anyway you want to see some more beautiful parts of this beautiful pen there we go oh that's a large nib and i have some information oh i need to look up um i did look up see that number 3952 right here on the nib um that meaning carries from, similar to the Platinum 3776 um, 
Mount Fuji height in meters. This is the height of a mountain in Taiwan, and right now I cannot remember the name of it, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, this nib is a Yowo number six. It's made for Laban. Um, it's gold plated, and it has it's been engraved with the Laban logo. Um, this nib is an extra fine, and I have my EF right here. Sometimes they're listed here, and sometimes they're listed on the side. I actually list, like them on the side better. It's easier to find. And the gorgeous grip section is the ivory design, oh, ivory with the designs in it, similar to the um, cap. And here, some of those designs almost look transparent here. So pretty. And this is a cartridge or converter filling system. And it's a comfortable size for using unposted or yeah let's see what the size is okay um, I'm not gonna get my scale out to measure I just took down the measurements um, from the website so that that metal in there almost looks like a bright copper instead of a gold Ooh, I'm losing my converter here yeah, that metal looks different, right around the threaded part, this gold and this gold, but right around the threads, it looks like copper. Interesting. All right, and it does come with the um, included converter, and it says Laban on the side. Nice touch, I like that. So, it it's not a twist on, it's just a press on converter. We'll get this inked up after we rinse it. And I have a decision to make. What ink will we use today? Give me a moment to choose that. While I do that, let's just look at the similarity of my two newest pens. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, and I can say um, the weight of this pen is 34 grams, which is quite substantial. Um, for a resin body. It's purple purple marble on the resin body. Um, let's see. Oh, the nib is made of rhodium and stainless steel and it's gold plated. I don't know if I covered that a few minutes earlier. And one interesting fact I read about was that um, in 2009, Pope Benedict XVI used a Laban to sign a book. And um, I read that on a blog spot called Archer Rantings. Um, this company was founded in 1981 and it's made in Taiwan. Okay, I am going to quickly just rinse my nib um, with some clear water and I hear, if you hear that noise in the background, hubby's watching TV. All right, and I have a choice of two inks, but it looks like they're very similar, very similar. So I thought, wow, it's the Diatramentus Lilac and Diatramentus Violets. Um, I ordered these when I was ordering all the scented inks, um, and they are very similar in color. So I thought, well, I'll look in my swatch book and see what we got, but my page right, right here where I had my blooper dot uh, drip is still wet. So I'm going to carefully turn. Ooh, I don't want my nib going. We've, we've experienced that before. I'm going to carefully turn to where I swatched my ink samples in the back of the book with the small bottles. Holds my ink sample pages. And on the purple page, we can look at lilac. And violet they are so similar but I do believe that the violet is a deeper and brighter color than the lilac so I'm gonna think I'm gonna do the violet today oh look at that brilliant violet copper with a shimmer I don't know it has a gold shimmer oh let me look at that one the atramentous brilliant violet copper because it has a gold shimmer Okay, this is why I like um, swatch books. Help me in decision making. 
All right, yes. Okay, again, looking at these two, lilac and violet, and then the violet copper um, to be used with this gorgeousness. And again, we can, it's, we'll just put um, a bit into the uh, converter it's because it has a shimmer. I'll see how it works in my extra fine nib. And let me get it dispersed a little. See how the shimmer works in the extra fine nib. And if it, uh, if I notice any clogging issues, I'll um, flush and we'll switch uh, to one of these. And I really do enjoy the um, scented inks. Almost ready. Okay. See, I wasn't even trying for a full fill. I wanted to stop early. And I got quite a bit of ink in that. Just to run it on a trial run. Okay, since uh, my pages in the swatch book are still wet, let's do a little bit here on this Rhodia dot paper. Which we know. Here we go. All right, so this is the new Le Bon. Wisteria. Purple. Even though it's extra fine, it does have a smooth uh, glide over the paper, and this is the dot, uh, Rhodia dot. Extra fine. Um, and the ink. Diatramentus. brilliant it is quite brilliant it, it actually matches this wisteria purple very well um, brilliant violet copper and it is a shimmer ink so I hope I can get down some of that shimmer on the page Let's go for smoothness. Not much in line variation. There's somewhat um, horizontal. No, not much there for line variation. And this ink, um, yeah, I'm liking this ink. It's um, quick drying and it performs beautifully on even not my favorite paper. And it matches the very pretty wisteria purple. I hear a plane overhead, so I don't know if you can hear that, but oh my goodness, this is so much fun. Love the size in this di this nib, and let's just take a quick peek at what we have here. Yes, both of them are number six. Gorgeous nibs. I'm loving these two recent purchases. So happy writing for me this week, of course. And thank you so much for joining me on my another pen journey share. Um, I appreciate you for spending some of your precious moments with me. And you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.